Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Jimmy Butler. That's the build I decided to make. And these are some highlights from the builder. And I'm also going to be putting some highlights from my, my career, which is on Hall of Fame, so you guys could check it out. But this is the way I decided to make the build. Obviously, there's many different ways to make them. You have your own preference. It's going to be your player at the end of the day. But I felt like this build would be a lot of fun. I'm going to explain how and why I made this build. So these are some highlights from my career. Hall of Fame. Snagging some rebounds. I could do pretty much everything. I know a lot of people say that, but uh, I feel like my player could really do that. The only downside would be his shooting wouldn't be that good, but I'm a pretty um, you know decent player. If you take smart shots, you can make your shots, obviously. Look at that wingspan, getting them steals, snagging everything. I don't even have interceptor badge or pickpocket or any of those. So if you look at Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, their top adjective or description right there is perimeter defense, and they're both two-way players. So I just looked at their finishing badges, shooting badges, playmaking, and defense to get an idea of what type of badges I would need and what type of player I would make. So Paul George is listed as 6'9", Kawhi Leonard is 6'7". But obviously when you make a my player 6'9", you won't be fast as these guys. So obviously I'm going to make him a little bit smaller than 6'9". And I'm looking at their shooting badges to see what they have. And I was kind of surprised at their badges because it was my first time looking at them. I thought they would have, you know, some on Hall of Fame. Actually, no, more badges on gold. But when I think about it, it makes sense that they have these type of badges. When you look at their play style, Kawhi Leonard's more methodical and Paul George is more of a scoring machine. So you'll see their badges differentiates a little bit in terms of shooting. But defense, they got some badges in common, which would be Intimidator clamps also um pick dodger pick pocket and for Kawhi leonard one thing i noticed was his ball handling which was at 86 his speed with ball and acceleration was in the 80s mid 80s and i also noticed his strength what is it was that at a 75 so that really helps him bully smaller guards 85 speed 81 acceleration 75 strength so when it comes to the physical profile, I'm going to make it very similar to that. He also has 79 vertical. So these are the physical profiles I'm going to try to imitate. Paul George has a little bit more shooting badges because he's a little bit more of a scorer. So like I said, you can't exactly replicate these players on a my player pie chart because, you know, 2K won't allow you to do that to make players that are super tall that can play defense, shoot, and handle the ball because <laughs> they just won't allow you to do that. So you gotta pick what you wanna focus on. And like I said, both these players have their main focus on defense. So that's what I'm gonna focus on as well. And for Paul George, his shooting is in the 79-81. So that's more reasonable than Kawhi Leonard where he has high shooting and high defense and high ball handle. You can't obviously do that. And for Paul George, his speed is 79, acceleration 79 as well, strength is 65. So if you combine Kawhi's strength and Paul George and you mix that up, 65 and 75, that's around 70. And my player, the build I'm going to make at the end is going to be, you know, 71 strength. And the reason I didn't make him at small forward was because if I made him 6'7", his lateral quickness wouldn't be as high and he'd have less badges than the shooting guard. But I'm, I've only been testing it out as a small forward position just to see who they would compare me to, you know, just for fun. So, you know, I decided to make him at 6'7 as a small forward just to see, like I said, the player comparisons. And as you guys will see, I'm going to get Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. But at the end, I'm going to make him at the shooting guard position. Like I said, he gets more badges and he gets more speed. And his strength will be in the 70s, which is what I want. So, there's two pie charts you could go with. It's this one right here, which is what I chose. I'm going to explain why. So, after doing all my adjustments, I'm going to have speed in the 80s, which is what Kawhi Leonard has, and 71 strength, which is 
what Paul George and Kawhi Leonard has. And his vertical is also going to be in the 80s, which is what Kawhi and Paul George also has. Because if you go to the shooting and defense pie charts, you can't max out his wingspan, which is what I wanted. Because if you max out his wingspan with that pie chart, your ball handle will go below 70. And you're not going to be as fast. Your speed is going to be like 78, 77. But like I said, it's your preference. You could do what you want. If you want shooting, you could do that. But I went for the playmaking, you know, for more speed and more versatility. And I went with seven finishing badges. You could reduce the finishing badges and put it on defense. You'll get one or two extra defensive badges, but you'll lose out on five or four finishing badges. But I wanted to make my player more all around. So this is how I made it. So like I said, you can make him your own style. This is what I decided to do because I just wanted to have max wingspan just to have more fun. You know, it's my first build, so I'm just testing it out. So obviously your first build is not going to be perfect, so... I ended up taking the slasher build just to have more fun. Because defensively, I'm already going to have long wingspan and Hall of Fame badges. And my finishing is not going to be Hall of Fame, so that's why I went with finishing, you know, to balance it out. And I'm being compared to Kobe Bryant, so it's not a bad build at all. Bad build at all, my bad. So at small four, I was being compared to Jimmy, Paul George, Kawhi, and at shooting guard, it's Kobe. So, you know, I decided to go with it. And like I said, it's my first build. I'm snagging rebounds. I'm playing great defense. The wingspan really helps out a lot, tremendously. The 71 strength comes into play a lot. I'm bullying smaller guards. It's easy to blow by them because you get that blow by animation. As you can see right here on D'Angelo Russell, I just push him to the side. So on my career on Hall of Fame, I don't have, I barely have any badges and I'm killing it. Like, I'm averaging 35 points a game and I've only played 12 points, I mean 12 games so far. And my minutes are still restricted, restricted. Because my defense is really, really good. You know, getting a lot of steals, getting a lot of opportunities on the break, getting a lot of uh, slashing opportunities. And then the wingspan really helps out a lot on defense, like I said, and I don't even have an interceptor or pickpocket badge, and I'm getting a lot of steals. And if you're open for your shots, you're going to be able to knock it down, because right now, it maxes out at 62. But if you get boost, it's going to be a 67. And if you get to 95 and above, you're going to get plus 1 to all attributes, so you can get 70, 71, 3. And then if you add on gold catch and shoot, gold corner specialist, you know, on gold, a hot zone hunter. You know, your three can go from a 70 to an 80. So if you take smart open shots and you know your release, you can make open shots. Because with this build, I'm more focused on defense because obviously that's what Kawhi and Paul George are known for. So this is mainly a defensive and slashing build. And when I get open shots, I'll be able to knock them down. And with the huge wingspan, I could do a little bit of everything. Snag rebounds, blow by people. Because my rebounding is at 87 right now, and with that wingspan and vertical, it's going to help a lot. That 71 strength is going to come into hand, uh, come into useful hands. And like I said, this is my first build, so I'm going to be testing it out. You know, I'm almost a 90 overall right now. I'm really having so much fun. And I haven't played a lot of Park yet. Uh, mainly because I don't have many friends on the PS4 that play Park. So if you want to ball up on Park and you're good, or if you got IQ, you know, we could team up and, you know, play 3v3 or you know pro-am or things like that because last year on 2k19 i played you know at randoms most of the time it wasn't that fun because uh <laughs> most of them didn't know what they were doing so if you want to ball up on park just hit up the comment section and when i can i'll play because during the weekdays i got so i'm working like 60 hours so i can't really play on the weekdays unless i take days off i'm mostly here on the weekend so that's why i haven't been posting a lot uh so hopefully you enjoyed the video Glad you guys enjoyed my last video as well, the Tim Duck and Kevin Garnett. Lots of positive vibes, so hopefully this one, you know, will get a lot of vibes as well. Drop a like and comment, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe. And also follow G Flash on Twitter.